How do they get the delicious flowing caramel into the caramel bar? Well, it's a question that's been asked ever since the chocolate bar was first created, way back in 1968. But you know, I think I've figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, do that a little bit of that there. Caramel. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> I was I, it was a real <laughs> shit fuck. In 1824, John Cadbury opened a grocer's shop at 93 Bull Street, Birmingham, England. He sold tea, coffee, and chocolate, which he prepared himself using a, a pestle and mortar. Yeah, got in there and just ground her down. By 1831, he built his own factory and went into production commercially. He sold his chocolate mainly to the wealthy because of the high cost of production. By 1842, he had 16 varieties of drinking chocolates uh, with uh, names like Churchman's chocolate, Spanish chocolate, fine brown chocolate, Iceland moss, pearl, and homeopathic. Hmm. I wonder what was in that homeopathic. Huh. Hey, 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 buddy, <laughs> wanna buy some homeopathic? Got some right here. <laughs> well, John's health rapidly declined and by 1861, he retired and handed over complete control of the business to his sons, Richard and George. Eventually, they went from producing drinking chocolate and figured out how to make a chocolate bar. Caramel is a candy bar made by Cadbury. The Cadbury uh, Gladstone Chocolate Factory in downtown Toronto, Canada, is the only place in the world where caramel is made. The plant makes 700,000 caramel chocolate bars every day. 700,000, that, that, that's hard to believe, isn't it? In the United States, Australia, and New Zealand, a similar bar is sold called Caramello. In the UK, there's a, a bar that differs somewhat in taste and shape, and it's called Cadbury Dairy Milk Caramel. Now, back to the secret on how they get the delicious flowing caramel into the caramel bar. What's fascinating here is that this was a great advertising campaign that led to the production of more than 15 separate television commercials since the chocolate bar was introduced. The caramel secret ad campaign was conceived by Gary Prouk. You might remember one of his notable advertisements that involved two conehead aliens who were complimenting each other on successfully concealing the secret from humans <laughs> and also creating some of the Earth's other works of wonders like Stonehenge and, and the pyramids. What they later realized is that neither of them created the caramel secret. Some other outworldly force did it. Wait a minute, that, that wasn't me. I thought you did that. Another ad from 1973, and it's a good one, it featured Leonardo da Vinci painting the Mona Lisa as she eats a caramel bar. And of course, that's where she gets her smile from. That caramel Mona Lisa commercial was so well received that it was inducted into the Hall of Fame of the Clio Awards. Caramel, <laughs> still one of life's sweet mysteries. Okay, let's make a caramel cocktail, and I promise, I'll reveal the secret, yeah. Okay, let's make a caramel cocktail. First thing we got is some vodka, one and a half ounces. Beauty. We gotta get chocolate, so we got some white creme de cacao, one ounce. Sweet. Sweet like chocolate. Then I've got this wonderful caramel dip, right? And um, what's nice about it is it's not like thick caramel. It's for dipping stuff into it. So look, look at this texture, you know? It's gonna be perfect. So we want one teaspoon. In you go. Sweet, okay. Ice. Right in our shaker there. And we're gonna shake it. <laughs> shake it like a chocolate bar? No. Uh, shake it like a sugar rush? Why not? And you wanna shake it for probably about, I don't know, 20 seconds or so? Yeah. 
Sugar Rush! Yeah! Sugar Rush! Ooh, get enough of that Sugar Rush. Yeah! <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, all we want to do is grab our chilled cocktail glass and uh, just strain this out. Caramel. Oh yeah. Wonderful color, isn't it? Sweet. Okay, let's see what this tastes like. Oh, caramel, yeah. <laughs> it's a caramel cocktail. Mm. You know, I think it should have a garnish of sorts, but my kind of garnish on this cocktail would be something like some nice dark chocolate and some fresh apple pieces. Got a little Granny Smith there. Something like that. And why not? A couple caramels. Sure, why not? Now that is one fine cocktail. Lovely, with all the little dessert on the side. And you know, this would be perfect after dinner. You had a wonderful dinner, and this is your dessert. Yeah! Caramel! Yeah! <laughs> See ya. That wasn't very good. Sugar <laughs> All right. Whew. I'm exhausted. Okay, shaking. It's shaking? Yeah. Mm. 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 Hey, caramel. Mm. Sugar rush. Hit this. button. Check out some other videos. I'm just going to eat my caramel bar here. <laughs>